Do you think these two shelves of Barbies are worth $10,000 or do you think they're worth less? Well, you'll find out pretty soon. Hey everyone, my name's Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I think I love even more. I enjoy collecting all kinds of toys, boy toys, girl toys, little kid toys, modern toys, vintage toys, you get the picture. When I'm not traveling across the state of Mississippi producing pageants, I like to spend my spare time working on my toy collection. I love looking for those hard to find toys on eBay, flea markets, thrift stores, and even modern day stores. My goal is to turn this massive toy collection into a museum. I want to call it Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum and move it to a public building where people can come from all over just to see the toy treasures. I really want to make it a tourist attraction for our state. So until I get my building for the toy museum, I need to value and inventory my collection to see what it's actually worth. It's going to be a long journey to see what my toy collection is worth. My dream is to see if it's worth at least a million dollars, but I'll just have to see if it actually is or not. That's why I'm making these videos, to see if I'm even close to that figure. I'm applying to be on Collector's Call on MeTV, so keep your fingers crossed it happens. I'm hoping I get to be on Season 4. Now, I am just a brand new baby YouTuber, so I am trying to build up this channel. If you like valuing toys and seeing a toy collection, just hit like and subscribe to it and help me out. I'd certainly appreciate it. Now, in today's episode of Valuing My Toy Collection, we're going to value these two shelves of Barbie dolls and the stuff around it. We're just going to value this whole section of the room. It's just a small section. We have my Chevy couch that I love and just some miscellaneous stuff. Now some of these Barbie dolls are a little pricey because they are limited edition from the Barbie convention. Now I've only been to the Barbie convention once back in 2011 and I had a great time. You pay a few hundred dollars to go but you do get the convention doll. Alright so let's jump right in and price these. Our Dallas Darling 2007 Barbie convention doll is worth about $300 right now on eBay. I do use eBay as my price guide and I try to take the lowest value. The Dallas Darling African American version is worth $350. Now this doll has a French name. I will butcher it, but I believe it's Jore de Vivre. And she's the 2008 Barbie convention doll and she's worth $700. And the African American version is worth $800. The African American dolls are usually worth a little bit more because they don't make as many. This two doll set is from 2009 Barbie convention and it's called the Gala Tribute 50th Anniversary Set and it's worth about $325 right now on eBay. Now this doll is from the 2014 Barbie convention called Midnight Celebration. This doll is worth $385 and then the African American version of the same doll is worth about $400. Now this Barbie convention doll was made by Nini Momo and they both autographed it to me with my name so I don't know if that hurts the value or not but I'm going to put them both at about $325. This doll is from the 2012 National Barbie convention and it's called Barbie's Eternal. Now she's worth about $375 right now on eBay and this one is signed so it might be worth a little bit more. And then the African American one is worth $500 right now. Now this Barbie convention doll was called On the Avenue. Now she's worth about $335. And then the African American version with the lavender top is worth about $400 right now. All set called Fun in the Sun was actually given the year I went to the Barbie convention and it's worth $650 right now. I'm glad I went. This little display stand was one of the convention centerpieces at the Barbie convention one year and it's worth about $30. And then these different dolls here were given at the convention either as uh, centerpieces or convention dolls. 
This one in the pink jacket is worth about $50. This one was the 2006 Barbie convention doll, the African-American version, and she's worth $250 out of the box. In the box, probably $500. And this Victorian doll in the back with the bicycle was actually the 1999 Barbie convention doll. She's called We Can Do Anything Right. She's worth about $100 out of the box. And then this Pilgrim doll came from the convention. I don't know her value, so I put her at about $30. All right, let's check out this next shelf of Barbie convention dolls. This set was actually given the year I went to the convention as well, and it's worth $450 now. The year I went, they gave away two doll sets. It was a great year. And then the African-American version, I just put $450 because I couldn't even find it on eBay, but she's probably worth a little bit more than that, but we'll put $450 to be conservative. Next, we have this convention doll. I don't remember which year this one was, but um, I couldn't even find her on eBay, so I'm gonna value both of them at $350 each. Now, this Barbie convention doll is from 2016 called Golden Galaxy. And she, even though she's in a smaller box, the first one's worth $565, and the African-American one's worth $600. They're very valuable. This was another convention doll done by Nini Momo one year and couldn't find her on eBay. So I figured she's worth about $300. Then I found this one, this black and maroon puff sleeve one. I can't remember her year either, but I found her for $150 as the lowest price. And then she went all the way up to like $600. We have these two dolls from the 2015 Barbie convention called Spotlight on Broadway. One's worth $210 and the other's worth $210. This was a great one. This was a Silkstone doll given at the Barbie convention in 2016. This one's worth $800, maybe a little bit more since it is signed by Robert Best. And then the African-American one, I put at $800 as well, but she's probably worth a little bit more than that. Those two are really high dollar. I'm glad I have those. This zebra swimsuit doll is worth $310 and she's from the 2019 convention. We have the Diamond Jubilee doll from the 2019 convention, and she's worth about $600 on eBay. Pretty impressive. Now we have the Power Pair set from the 2021 Barbie convention, and then this set's worth about $350. And then we have the African American set from 2021, and it's worth about $450. Next, we have these cool aluminum can airplanes hanging from the top of the ceiling. They're worth about $25 each. We have four of those, so that adds another $100 to our collection. And then we have all this miscellaneous stuff we need to price. First, we have this ALF doll, and he's worth about $30, and the pillow behind him probably worth $5. Then we have this giant peacock plush, and it's worth $25. And then we have all our Barbie for President dolls. We have the 1991 version, she's worth $25, and the African-American version is worth $37. Next, we have the 2000, she's worth about $28. And then we have 2004, she's worth about $25. We have our 2008 version, and she's worth about $30. Then we have the 2012 version, she's worth about $27. And then we have the double pair of president and vice president from 2016, and it's worth $60. And we have these flat and Coke bottle wind chimes. They're worth about $25. And we have these great cartoon prints that are worth about $10 each to make another $20 to add. Down on the floor, we have our Fisher Price Giant Rocka Stack, and they're worth about $25. I just bought those because they were so large. I've always seen the little ones, but never the big one. This big Coke cooler is worth about $125. And then we have some Coca-Cola Tic Tacs, and they're still worth about $7. And our Coca-Cola van is worth about $15. Then we have this awesome roller coaster ride. I love this. I, yeah, I spent a lot for it when I bought it. It's called... Christmas World's Fair Grand Roller Coaster, and it's worth $225. And 
and this cute little plaque on the wall that says it's all about me is worth about five dollars and we have this really cool chevy sofa couch um it's worth about three thousand dollars new so i'm gonna value mine at about two thousand dollars since it's not new anymore and it has a couple nicks here and there but nothing major i still love this couch then we have this last little corner of the room right here we're going to value it's just got a lot of little miscellaneous stuff first at the top we'll start with the clock on the wall it's probably worth about ten dollars and we have this cool vase of flowers from pier one it's probably worth about sixty dollars now and then these little mini velvet volkswagens i got at the flea market i'd say they're worth about ten dollars for all of them the rock concert about five dollars and then this racing dog plush another five dollars that old VW van cabinet is worth about $100. Now this little teddy bear I got at a yard sale, it's worth about $20. They told me it was worth about $50, but eBay has it about $20. But I think that's about what I paid for it. This little ballet stool is worth about $25. These couple random items I need to include because I've already valued those shelves is our Dunkin' Donut Thermos I got up in Arkansas on vacation. I paid $25 for it and it's worth $25. And then I had this last for Chino car sculpture that I needed to add to my other video I've done. It's worth $300. Now from our previous 62 videos we've made so far for value in my toy collection, that total was $150,241. So yes, the first question we asked was the Barbie doll shelves worth at least $10,000? They were. The Barbies alone were worth $13,575. That's pretty unbelievable. And then with our Chevy sofa and all of our other miscellaneous stuff, we can add another $3,419 to this total. This being our 63rd video of value in my toy collection, our grand total so far is $167,235. Now, each time we add to our total, it's usually not such a big total like it was on this video, but we just had those expensive Barbies to add. So I hope you've enjoyed our video. I hope you're enjoying the series value in my toy collection. If so, just hit subscribe and thank you so much for following this journey with us. So until next time, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.